Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and as Indians, the Independence Day of our motherland, India. At the very outset, I wish you all the happy feast of the Assumption and the happy Independence Day. On November 1st, 1950, Pope Pius XII, defines the dogma of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it sounds like this. The Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, after completing her earthly life, she was taken up, body and soul, into heavenly glory. And it was the day of victory over sin and death. It was the day of victory over all kinds of evil powers. In today's readings, the three readings also speak about the victory of God over all kinds of evil powers. In the Gospel, we see the beautiful hymn of praise of Mother Mary. In fact, this is the longest song of praise in the New Testament we can find the Magnificat. When did, G when did Mother Mary sing? this beautiful song of praise, the beautiful song of joy. At the time of Mother Mary, the age of marriage of a girl is 13, and Mother Mary at the age of 13. If anyone gives birth without a legal husband, she will be stoned to death. And Mother Mary sometimes is going to face those situations. Yet, Mother Mary was able to praise God. Yet, Mother Mary was able to thank God, the joyful hymn. That is the real freedom. That is a real liberation. That is a real independence. Whatever the circumstances, whatever the problems, but still I am able to experience the joy that is given by the Holy Spirit. We read in the prophet book of Habakkuk, a small book, but a beautiful book. Chapter 3, verse 17. I read like this. Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, though the produce of the olive fails, and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the God of my salvation. This book is written from an agrarian background. The prophet, the author says, What are the circumstances? Accusation, farming, embarrassment, suffering, difficulties. Yet, yet, I am able to exalt my God. That we read the words of Jesus. Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, verse 11. That is the farewell discourse of Jesus. At the time of the Last Supper, he says like this, I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Jesus speaks about the joy, my joy in you. When did Jesus speak? The next day, Jesus is going to be crucified. He is going to be persecuted. Yet, he was experienced the joy, the freedom, the liberation. And St. Paul tells us, letter to the Romans, Chapter 14, verse 17, a small definition of the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Joy. The kingdom of God is experiencing the joy of the, by the Holy Spirit. Again, we read letter to the first Thessalonians. Chapter 5, 
verse 16. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rejoice always, pray, thank without ceasing. That is the will of God. That is the will of Jesus. So, dear brothers and sisters, Mother Mary is the symbol of joy. Mother Mary is the symbol of true liberation, true freedom. Whatever the circumstances, situation, yet Mother Mary was able to praise God. And Pope Francis, once when he was meeting the seminarians and the priests, he said like this, There is no sadness in holiness. Rejoice always, be joyful, be joyful. And he used this imagery. Your face should not be a vinegar face, a saucer face. Our face must shine. We all must keep the joy which is given by the Holy Spirit. The day of Assumption, Mother Mary also gives this example, the true liberation, the experiencing of joy. The Indian spirituality also speaks or always relate this joy towards God. For example, we can see the names of the Indian sannyasis. For example, Brahmananda, Dhyananda, Chinmayananda, Satchidananda, etc. That means, one who is in God, one who comes from God, will always experience the joy, the inner freedom, the liberation. How did Mother Mary could experience this real joy? First, she had an experience of Gabriel, the angel Gabriel. That is nothing but, she always had the strong belief that her life, is not to be end on this earth, but she has a destiny that is nothing but the heavenly glory. That must be enable us to. Our life is not going to end on this earth. We have a destiny that is the heavenly glory. If we have that strong faith of heaven, a God, whatever the circumstances, situations, but yet, we will be able to experience the inner freedom, the joy. And second, the visitation of Mother Mary. Mother Mary visited Elizabeth, though Mother Mary was also pregnant. Yet, Mother Mary was, led, was leading a life, the other-oriented life, always serving others, always helping others. That was the attitude of Mother Mary. And I think these two beliefs, these two character, was such a helpful for Mother Mary to experience always the joy, always able to praise God in all circumstances. So dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the Feast of the Assumption and the Independence Day of our nation, God says to us, Let's also experience the real joy. Let's also experience the inner freedom. It never looks at the situation or the circumstances, but we have a God. We, our destiny is to the heavenly glory. And let's lead a life to be for others, to be other-oriented. May God bless you all. Once again, I wish you all a very happy feast. May God bless.